Welcome brethren for visiting our channel known as Division of Labor today. We are at the altar of the God of Okosharofancho. Okosharofancho. Hello brethren. We are glad you are here today on this year 100 days prayer and fasting window. We are at the altar of solution in Zion prayer movement outreach, led by God's servant Ibukaobi. The prayer ground is a Holy Ghost citadel of Ofosharofancha. Okosharofancha. Omesharofancha. And Otisharofancha. Hallelujah and Amen. You are welcome to day 66 in 100 days fasting and prayer, Monday, July 22, 2024. Our topic, Healing Your Family Root. Scriptures from New King James Version as we take on Judges 6 verses 25 to 35, Now it came to pass the same night that the Lord said to him, Take your father's young bull, the second bull of seven years old, and tear down the altar of board that your father has, and cut down the wooden image that is beside it, and build an altar to the Lord your God on top of this rock in the proper arrangement, and take the second bull and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the image which you shall cut down. So Gideon took ten men from among his servants and did as the Lord had said to him. But because he feared his father's household and the men of the city too much to do it by day, he did it by night. In verse 28, Gideon destroys the altar of Baal. And when the men of the city arose early in the morning, there was the altar of Baal, torn down, and the wooden image that was beside it was cut down, and the second bull was being offered on the altar which had been built. So they said to one another, who has done this thing? And when they had inquired and asked, they said, Gideon the son of Josh has done this thing. Then the men of the city said to Josh, Bring out your son, that he may die, because he has torn down the altar of Baal, and because he has cut down the wooden image that was beside it. But Josh said to all who stood against him, Would you, see, plead for Baal? Would you save him? Let the one who would plead for him be put to death by morning. If he is a god, let him plead for himself, because his altar has been torn down. Therefore on that day he called him Jerobo, saying, Let Bo plead against him, because he has torn down his altar. Then all the Midianites and Amalekites, the people of the east, gathered together, and they crossed over and encamped in the valley of Jezreel. But the Spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon, then he blew the trumpet, and the Abiah's rites gathered behind him. And he sent messengers throughout all Manasseh, who also gathered behind him. He also sent messengers to Asher, Zebulun, and Naphtali, and they came up to meet them. Hallelujah. Lamentations 5 verse 7, Our fathers sin and are no more, but we bear their iniquities. Exodus 34 verse 7, Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation. Hallelujah, praise God for the reading of His Word. Amen. Meditation and Summary on Today's Scriptural Passages Today, 
Many people are undergoing series of difficulties, adversities, rise and fall, failures, untimely death, poverty, wretchedness and all kinds of terminal sicknesses, because of the foundational pollutions arising from the sins of their ancestors. Some of their ancestors established and installed deities and shrines with different types of sacrifices. The scripture recorded in lamentation that our fathers sinned and are no more, but we bear their iniquities. In Judges 6 25, 35, the Lord instructed Gideon to do away with the shrines in his father's house, because it was obstructing the attainment and manifestation of divine promises in his life. He did and the Lord used him to deliver his people from oppression and granted him victories over their enemies. By reason of your participation this program, the Lord will heal your family roots, deliver you from oppression and grant you victory over your enemies. Your foundation cannot keep your back on the ground. You can no longer be stagnated on the account of your foundation. You shall speedily be freed, liberated and delivered in the name of Jesus. Amen. We take on our prayer points 1 to 4. Prayer points number 1. Lord, by your mercy, forgiving the sins of my ancestors and cancel the curses and consequences of their sins following me and my family by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your mercy, forgiving the sins of my ancestors and cancel the curses and consequences of their sins following me and my family by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your mercy, forgiving the sins of my ancestors and cancel the curses and consequences of their sins following me and my family by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Prayer points number 2. My Father, by your mercy and power, let every covenant entered into by my ancestors from my father's side and my mother's side affecting me and my family negatively be destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. My Father, by your mercy and power, let every covenant entered into by my ancestors from my father's side and my mother's side affecting me and my family negatively be destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. My Father, by your mercy and power, let every covenant entered into by my ancestors from my father's side and my mother's side affecting me and my family negatively be destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Prayer points number 3. O Lord, by your power, destroy and silence every negative voices calling me from my foundations by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. O Lord, by your power, destroy and silence every negative voices calling me from my foundations by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. O Lord, by your power, destroy and silence every negative voices calling me from my foundations by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Matthew 17, 27, Jesus said to Peter, Go, see the fish, see the fish, you will see money in the mouth of that fish. Amen. Many of you are always passing from where your breakthrough will be. From now, any move you make in business will profit you. Amen. I remember an eight year boys in a girl, see. Amen. In Kayan Mele before, I wonder how I work. I go and know where I want to talk. I ain't going to grow to. Now, Tibia, see ya. Now, you have to be a baby, Tibia, see ya. What does it be? Visa, you are a Tibia, you go. I don't put them a teacher. Who put a Zeke? Not just that he got visa, connections are busy. I bet they ain't going to grow to today. Why not all look at the money in it? Fake it, fair. I connect you to the realm of financial breakthrough. Amen. That you will not lack from this moment. Amen. Everything about you in this hundred days will be a magnet of favor. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. I close the chapter and pages of wretchedness in your lineage. Amen. Power. 
from today, whatever you put your hand, you will rejoice over it. Amen. Money will respect you. Amen. Money will honor you. Amen. This family, giant is rising from your family. Amen. Financial giant. Amen. Psalm 35 to 27, magnifying the Lord who take pleasure in the prosperity of his children. He made his self poor that he may be rich. So I may be only financial pinoniers. I don't know what I mean. I am a mother, 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 I am a mother. Peter and John says, Silly man, God, we do have what we have, we give you, we have the anointing by the grace of God. And I call the anointing of financial people. But from now, financial battles that close for your ancestors, your great grandfathers, your father, your ancestors will open for you. Amen. And what no one has ever achieved in your family, you are going to achieve it. Amen. If you believe it, seven hearts, amen. 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 And I declare you healed. Amen. From now you are delivered. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover you, blood of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Prayer point number four. Brethren, pray according to Psalm 122, verse 6 for the peace of our spiritual director, Evangelista Booker Obi and Zion Prayer Movement Outreach, they shall prosper that love thee. It is important according to Ephesians 6 verse 19, and for God's servant, that utterance may be given to him, that he may open his mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which he is an ambassador in chains, that in it he may speak boldly, as he ought to speak. For that reason, in Philippians 1 verse 19 For he know that through our prayers and God's provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ what has happened to him will turn out for his deliverance. We intercede as it is written in Colossians for verse 3 and pray for Zionites, also, that God may open a door for our message, so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ, for which we are in battles. We invoke the throne verdict from the book of Isaiah 44 verse 25, Jehovah who frustrated the tokens of the liars, against those who satanically use Zion prayer movement outreach as their full-time business, and God makes the diviners mad, he turned wise men backward, and makes their knowledge foolish. Again, in Job 5 verse 12 he disappointed the devices of the native doctors and crafty that speaks against brother Abuka Obi, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, let God arise and scatter every conspiracy from the heavenliest and from the water that rages against God's servant and his ministry, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Almighty God! According to your word in Deuteronomy 33 verses 26 to 27, there is no one like the God of brother Abuka Obi, who rides the heavens to help his servant, and in his excellency on the clouds. The eternal God is Prophet Abuka's refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms, he will thrust out the enemy from before Zion prayer movement outreach, and will say, destroy. Again Father, your word says in Psalms 105 verse 15, saying, touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. We decree and declare, O you that troubled the ministry of Evangelist Abuka Obi and Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, the God of fire and thunder shall trouble you today, in the name of Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, your word said in, Zechariah 2 verse 5, For me, says the Lord, will be a wall of fire all around Zion Prayer Movement's premises, and I will be the glory in her midst. Now we pray that every enemy of the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministry scatter, in the name of Jesus. O oh God of Zion Prayer Ministry Outreach! You have challenged us in your word, Isaiah 41 verse 21 that we should present our case, says the Lord. And we should bring forth our strong reasons, says the King of Jacob. We therefore pray according to Isaiah 8 verse 9 Associate yourselves, O ye people of Antichrist, and ye shall be broken in pieces, and give ear, all ye of far countries, gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces, gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught, speak the word, and it shall not stand, for God is with Zion prayer movement outreach. Trust in God concerning the treachery of friends in ministry. To the spiritual director. With stringed instruments. 
A contemplation of Prophet Abuka Obi, Selah. According to Psalm 55 verses 12 to 14, he prayed. For it is not an enemy who reproaches me, then I could bear it. Nor is it one who hates me who has exalted himself against me, then I could hide from him. But it was you, a man my equal in the evangelical movement, my companion and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked to the house of God in the throng. O God of Zion Prayer Ministry Outreach! In your word Psalm 109 verse 28, let them curse, but you bless, when they arise, let them be ashamed, but let your servant brother Abuka Obi rejoice. In Psalm 112 verse 10, the wicked will see Zion prayer movement outreach flourished and be grieved, they will gnash their teeth and melt away, the desire of the wicked social media shall perish, in the name of God of Ofa Sharafancha, Okwa Sharafancha, Oma Sharafancha, and Ot Sharafancha. Amen. Hallelujah! Also our Father, your word said in Matthew 15 verse 13, said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. O oh God, arise and uproot anything you did not plant inside the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, in Jesus' name. Amen. According to 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, For all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him amen, unto the glory of God by Zion Prayer Movement Outreach. Father, we pray like your prophet Jeremiah 17 verse 18, let them be ashamed who persecute prophet Abuka Obi, but do not let him be put to shame, let his enemies be dismayed, but do not let him be dismayed. Bring on his enemy the day of doom, the day of calamity, the day of disaster, and destroy them with double destruction. For it is written, 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 6, since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble Zion prayer movement outreach. We pray now, let the fire of Holy Ghost and revival fall upon Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, in the name of Jesus, our Father in heaven, according to your word in Psalm 27 verse 11, teach your servant brother Abuka Obi your way, Lord, lead him in a straight path because of his enemies. Heavenly Father! In your word, Numbers chapter 6 verse 23 to 26, you spoke to your servant prophet Abuka Obi and his congregations all over the world, saying, this is the way you shall bless the children of Zionites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you, the Lord make his face shine upon you, and be gracious to you, for the Lord lift up his countenance upon you, and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Zionites, and I will bless them as their God. Amen. Brethren we conclude our prayer point number 4 according to Galatians 6 verse 17 to 18, from henceforth let no man trouble Zion prayer movement outreach, for we bear in our body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Prayer point 4, we pray for Zionites worldwide that the grace of prophecy with instant solution that works here, the same grace will begin to affect all Zionites, wherever they are. Amen. And then we have reason for testimony. Amen. That God will protect Zion from the hands of the enemy. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Effective prayer book. Brethren, pick up your prayer. Effective prayer book, page number 29. Prayer for healing of family root. Miracle working God. The only supernatural doctor that is above the natural, your word says in Isaiah 11 verse 10, that you are the root of Jesse. And your word in 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 says, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and forgive their sins and heal their land. Please O Lord, forgive the sins of my ancestors and our present sins and heal my family root, as your word says in Psalm 103 verse 3, that you forgave our sins and healed our diseases, Father. I need your divine help and healing in my family in Jesus' name. Amen. Heal and deliver my family from any form of evil inheritance from our forefathers, in Jesus' name. Amen. Heal and deliver my family from every demonic inheritance of poverty, in Jesus' name. Amen. Heal and deliver my family from every satanic inheritance of sickness, in Jesus' name. Amen. Heal and deliver my family from every demonic inheritance of premature death in Jesus' name. Amen. Heal and deliver my family from every satanic inheritance of barrenness in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Heal and deliver my family from every satanic inheritance of rising and falling in Jesus' name. Amen. Heal and deliver my family from every satanic inheritance of near successes syndrome in Jesus' name. Amen. Heal and deliver my family from every satanic inheritance of late marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today I come with the word of God in Isaiah 10 verse 27, that says, On that day the burden shall be taken away from thy shoulders, and his yoke from thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So by the power in the word of God, all you satanic and demonic inheritance existing in my family from generation to generation, I command you to be taken away and be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. The word of God also says in Mark 15 verse 38, that the curtain hanging in the temple was torn into two from top to bottom. By this, I claim freedom and liberty upon my family and I begin to plead the blood of Jesus Christ for cleansing, purification and sanctification upon my family root in Jesus' name. Amen. Ani mere ma pere o ta ha jiso so di wo ma Ani mere ma pere o na jiso so di wo ma O mo chuku mere ma pere o O na wo wo na di wo ma Ani mere ma pere o na jiso o di wo ma John Abuja, I'm a Malayak. Oh, Ben Kitana, Abuja, when the mirina bamba o please brethren see the prayer script in the description below and subscribe our channel and share to your friends and family as it is written in Psalm 68 verse 11, King James Version, that the Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it. Our YouTube channel does not represent the ministries in any way, or speak on their behalf but the spiritual director, have many times encouraged lovers of kingdom of God to propagate the gospel of Savior Jesus Christ, and our channel don't solicit funds of any kind. See you on tomorrow's prayer and fasting. May the Lord bless you and keep and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and loved ones. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and hallelujah. Shall we call the house of prayer? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Talk less. Talk when it's important. Read your Bible more. Pray and listen to him more. Have a good rapport, relationship with him. Before the crusade, you will be surprised what will happen. Remember that our fasting is coming to an end gradually. Now you should talk less and listen more to the Holy Spirit. Sometimes at this dying minute, the enemy tempts people of God to spoil what they started for a long time. And I have told you before, even if you have fell, start today. We still have almost 28 days or 29. Be serious right now. I've tested this God who speaks to me all the time about people, case. I've tested and know he's good. Talk less. Talk when it's important. Read your Bible more. Pray and listen to him more. Have a good rapport, relationship with him before the crusade. You will be surprised what will happen. I told you before, some people will receive their own miracles instantly. Some people have received already. They will still receive. Some people, after the program. Everybody's timeline is not the same. 